Welcome back to Dog Base Fishing Adventures. Well, <clears throat> that time of the year now where uh, I really want to start a bit of lure fishing. So I've uh, got my gear back from the island and uh, yeah, now's the time of the year, end of May, beginning of June, give it a go. I have to say one of the uh, most important part of lure fishing is having a decent bag with you. You're always going to end up taking more than you need once you've sussed out what lures the bass are generally taking then you will scale back a bit. So at the moment I'm all out. I've got everything with me. I want to try different lures, try different weights, whether they're a hard lure, soft lure, weedless. But as I said the one of the most important things is really I want to start with uh, a decent bag. <clears throat> so I've got one here, I've just ordered it, it's a Savage Gear rucksack. Um, I have to say, very impressed so far with it. <clears throat> here it is. Now I was quite skeptical when I ordered it, although it had the dimensions there, I was thinking until you actually see it in the flesh, you're not 100% sure how big it is, how small it is. And this is perfect. It looks quite big on the video here, but trust me, it isn't. It's very, very compact. It's well padded. As you can see there, you've got a nice back support, which is very well padded. Obviously you're going to use this shore fishing, over the rocks, beach, wherever. <clears throat> you probably won't actually have this out when you're in the surf. This is mainly to take your gear, leave it to one side, then go down there with a small, a small little shoulder bum bag type. But for getting your actual rods, all your gear down there, this is absolutely superb. It even comes with little straps here put your rods in you know if you take them in a, like a rod bag with the real one or just uh, velcro together it's perfect so you that'll go in there on the velcro that'll all open up that'll go down there your reels will sit down there You'll, uh, your reels will sit up here sorry and your butts will come down there a little bit more brilliant you got both one each side which is really good, good idea. So everything's basically, you know, you're carrying your bucket or whatever, you, you know, as well. So that's good. Uh, as I say, I was impressed with the size. Looks a deceiving, it probably looks quite big on here, but it isn't, trust me. So the main features, obviously, this, this uh, Savage Gear box came with, came with lure boxes, three lure boxes. All kept in there so I've got two in here I've actually got my Fox Rage box here for me drop shot so if I wanted to do a little bit of light LRF I can so I've kept them in there nice boxes curved corners so you can get everything out all your bits and pieces perfect so you get three of them As I say, I've got in my bottom one here. This is a Fox Rage box just to for all my LRF light jig heads. So that fits in there as well. So I'm pleased with that. That'll go in the bottom. So you get two. Let's just do that in case it all falls out. The zips are completely salt waterproof, so that's good. There's nothing worse than you get a decent bag and the zips just do not last. So they're saying these are nice salt water zips. So you've got a top pocket. You know, keep a few bits and pieces in, braid there, suffix. 
links, split rings. It's nice. It's got nice deep side pockets on it as well. Fold down, happy days, that's nice. Quite nice and deep in there. And the most important thing is, it's got a decent, decent bottom on it. There's nothing worse than when you get a bag and water just starts seeping through. You don't want that. Well, I say water, sand, horrible. So that's got a nice, it's not an EVA, like a solid one, like a cart bag or anything like that, but it is, it is protected, it's well padded and it is waterproof. So then you've got the top main compartment. Oh, you've got the handle there as well, so that's good. You get the top compartment. Clear pouch there, all sewn in. Put various bits and pieces in there, whatever you want. So that's good. Nice and clear so you can see what you're trying to get hold of. And so I've got my third box in there. And that's all my gravity sticks in that one there. But if you weren't going to use that, I mean, if you're going to use just that, you know, flask, anything at all, food, spare reels, various bits and pieces, scissors, scourges, this will all fit in the top there, no trouble at all. And this lower part here does zip out, so you could have one big bag in there if you wanted to. So that's, that's ingenious, that's a good idea. As I say, the zips are fantastic. And then on the top, you've got some bungee there. A bit of bungee cord. That's good. You know, you can put anything, stuff anything under there. Zip it up tight. It's got the old uh, buckle. So I'll keep that there. I don't know. Clothing, anything at all. Rags, whatever. And that's very good. I have to say, it's all adjustable. Got the top clip there, goes round your chest, so that's good, you know, so it's nice and comfortable if you're going over rocks or any sort of like horrible terrain. Good colour as well, that's nice. Orange and dark grey. Yeah, first impressions, very impressed. Time will tell. Obviously, I can't wait to get on the shore and everything. Uh, get on the rocks, surf, anything. But as I say, you won't actually be really using this when you're actually lure fishing. This is just to get your gear down there. As I say, you would have a bum bag or something, a shoulder bag, one that flips out nicely so you can quickly grab your, change your lure and away you go sort of thing. But this is to get you down to the beach. And I have to say I'm very impressed with this. Uh, they do lots of other ranges as well, just normal sort of like shoulder bags, uh, carryalls, all in the same colours and that. But yes, yeah, so Savage Gear Ruck Bag. I have to say, very impressed so far. Uh, price, I got this one for $59.99. Um, that was the cheapest I could find, so I was happy with that. And as I say, I was a bit sceptical, you know, although you've got the dimensions there, there's nothing better than seeing it in the flesh so savage gear rock box definitely worth a buy boys go for it what I'll do now is I'll take some close-up pictures and that seems see it a bit better but yeah hundred percent go for it I would Toodaloo. Well, you can't beat having a variety of lures, whether it's soft plastics, metals, 
LRI, LRFs, drop shots. There's quite a few makes here. Savage gear, major craft. I'm certainly keen to try all these uh, Savage Gear lures. See what comes of it. Well, fingers crossed, uh, I'll have some footage. Maybe getting into a, it's getting to that time of the year, maybe a tad earlier than normal, but you've got to start somewhere. And there's always plenty of bass up Southampton water, getting all the nooks and crannies. So yeah, happy days. I'll keep you boys informed. <laughs>